Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another PyQt5 tutorial. My name is Jay. In this tutorial, we're going to create a digital clock for your desktop. So before we get started, let me just give you a quick demo. So right here I have a Python script called clock.py. And if I just run the clock.py script, oops, should me uh, change my directory to the tutorial. And if I run the clock.py, so here we get this uh, digital clock application that is built using the PyQt5 library. And my command prompt, the time is pr is printing uh, pretty much every second. And this is the exercise we'll be doing in this video. Now let me close the command prompt. <coughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import the libraries. From PyQt5.qt widgets module, I'm going to import the Q application, Q widget, uh, Q V box layout, and the label. So Q label class. And from the PyQt.qt GUI module, I'm going to import the Q font class. And from the Qt core module, I'm going to import the uh, Q timer. Q time and the QT classes. Oops, should be QT, not QT core. Next, I'm going to create a class. Uh, I'll name this class app demo. So this class is going to be used to basically construct our application. I'm going to pass the Q widget class as the parent class. And I'm going to resize my window. Uh, let's do 200 by 150. Before I start writing the code to construct the uh, the, the functionality of the, the app, I'm going to create my uh, application instance first. And I'm going to name my app demo instance as demo. Okay, now if I simply just run the Python script, and here I get, let me see. So, no, okay, so here I made a typo. Should be uh, capital P, PYQD5. And here's another typo. All right, now if I just simply uh, run, run the Python script, and this is our window. So a little bit small, so it should be made that a little bit wider. So I'll make that 450 by 150. Okay, now that's a little bit better. Now let's go back to the app demo class. And here I'm going to create my layout uh, object. So this is going to be used to organize my, my labels. And here I'm going to create a Q font instance. So I'm going to, oops. I'm going to use open sense as my uh, font style. I'll set the, the font size to 120. And this is going to be optional, but I'm going to set my font style to bold. Now we can create our label. So I'm going to name my label object self.lbl, just stands for label. And this is going to be Q label, so I'm going to this is going to be a Q label class. So here I'm going to align my label to the center. So it should be uh should be self dot label set alignment. I'm going to provide the uh, the constant value from the QD class align center. I also want to apply the the font style, so I'll, I'll pass the the font object. And lastly, we need to add the the label to our layout. And to make the label to display uh, on our application, so we need to uh, set the layout, and we'll pass the the layout object. 
Okay, and if I just simply run the Python script, and hopefully there's no typo. So this won't have so far. And because we haven't provided any text to the label uh, object yet, so that's why the window is, lo is looking pretty empty. Okay, so to keep the clock running continuously, we can use the queue timer class to keep a function executing uh, repeatedly. And to do that, so I'm going to create uh, a queue timer instance first. And I'll pass the self reference so that it will link to our, our, our parent class, which is the queue widget class right here. And from the timer object, so I'm going to uh, call the timeout uh, method and that connect. And here it's asking for a function that we want to execute. So let's go ahead and create a function. I'm going to call this function uh, display time. And here I'm going to get the current time. So from the queue time queue time class, there's a method called current time, which is going to give us the current time. And I want to convert the time value to a string. So here I'll create a display uh, text object. And from the current time object, I want to uh, use the to string method. And here I'll provide the, the formatting that I want to show uh, for my time. And here I want to print the time value. So on my console. And lastly, we need to uh, update the label with the with the display text object. Okay, now we have the, the function or the method created, so we can go back and here I'm going to pass the display time method. And to make your timer to executing the same function uh, repeatedly. So here one so after the timer dot timeout dot connect statement, we need to call the start uh, method. And the start method is going to basically so sing these three uh, three lines as a group. And every time uh, when this function is executed, and it's going to kind of it's going to stop, and it's going to go to the next line. But if this statement uh, sees that uh, we're going to uh, we're going to start the function again or this routine again. So it's going to go basically go back to line twenty three, so which is this line right here, and ignore line twenty two. So that's irrelevant. So imagine that if you simply just run line twenty four and line twenty five, it's going to just keep repeating itself and continuously until uh, you reach a, you reach to a point where uh, you get you have timer stop. A statement which is going to stop the, the timer uh, execution. So here we're saying that uh, run this function then go to the next statement and since we're going to start everything over again uh, so here we want to uh, specify wait how many seconds to run the function again and 1000 indicating is one second so if you want to run a function we put uh, after five seconds, then we'll use five thousand. So this means one second, and that's it. So this the this the entire Python script. Now, if I simply just uh, save the script and run it, and here, here let me see. Oh, so this should be self dot display. Okay, and here's our digital clock and. Right here in our console is printing the current time uh, every second. So this is everything for this video. Just a very simple exercise showing you how to create a simple digital clock application using the PyQt5 library in Python. And I hope you guys found this video useful. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.